Good morning and welcome to our first live version of We Are Wednesdays, a new feature exploring the permanent collection at Riverbrink. My name is Deborah Antonsik and I'm the director curator at Riverbrink. In this image from our collection, we see two figures, fashionably dressed women. One is standing, leaning rather precariously on an umbrella. And the other is seated in front, facing the viewer, but turned slightly away holding a booklet. The pair of figures are bordered on the left by a textured surface and frame paintings line the wall in the background. We know the location from the title. The paintings gallery at the Louvre in Paris and the booklet is a museum guide. Also from the title we know that one of the figures is Mary Cassatt and the other has been identified as her sister Lydia. This is a print and etching, one of the most complex etchings produced by Edgar Degas, the French Impressionist. The artist used a combination of techniques, etching, soft ground etching, dry point and aquatint, and different tools to produce various effects. And he produced some 20 states. So here I'm showing two versions from the Cleveland collection, the collection in Cleveland, our print is a restrike from the 1950s. It was purchased by Sam Weir from a New York dealer in 1962. But there are over 20 uh, states and the artist adjusted and, and worked on the plate using various techniques and uh, tools to add and subtract details. So just what is an etching? Etching is an intaglio process of printmaking in which lines are incised into a metal plate, which is then dipped into an acid bath. It was invented by the German artist Daniel Hopfer in the 15th century, and it required little knowledge of metalworking. It could be practiced by really anyone trained in drawing. The metal plate, usually made from copper, zinc, or steel, is coated with a waxy, acid-resistant substance called ground, upon which the artist draws a design with a metal needle, exposing the bare metal. The plate is then immersed in acid, and the acid eats into the metal where it is exposed by the design. The plate is then wiped clean of all the ground, inked, and run through a press to produce a print on paper. Variations in our print, as I mentioned, include dry point, aqua tint, and soft ground etching. The etching is one of several depictions of the Cassatt sisters at the Louvre by Degas. In total, the artist produced two prints, five drawings, a half dozen pastels, and two paintings exploring this theme in various iterations. We know from letters that Degas was working to produce a new journal publication Le jour et la nuit, day and night, or light and dark, a reference to the rich tonal qualities and contrasts possible with the etching process. It was to include his own prints, along with the work of several other artists, including Camille Pizarro and Mary Cassatt, but it did not materialize. Degas adopted a previous work, this pastel, for two etchings on this theme of his fellow artist enjoying the exhibitions at the Louvre. We see the distinctive pose, standing figure leaning heavily on an umbrella, and the second figure seated on the right. Degas first adapted the pastel, the figures from the pastel for this etching, Mary Cassatt at the Louvre, the Etruscan Gallery from around the same time. And we see the two ladies enjoying a very distinctive display here, the sarcophagus of the spouses from the Louvre collection. Here I'm showing you a contemporary photograph of this very distinctive funerary monument. It's not sure, we're not sure uh, why exactly Degas would have chosen to depict the, the two visitors in front of this exhibition, this uh, particular object but um, in the collection, but it may have been a private interest. The preparatory drawing reveals Degas' process of transferring the image to the plate 
and his preoccupation with the placement of the figures. Their spatial relationship, the distance between them, the proportions, and even their orientation. This suggests a more complex reading of the print. Many art historians have described this as a portrait of Cassatt, a fellow artist whom Degas mentored and introduced to etching. It has been also described as a representation of character, personality, and as a depiction of affluent women in public spaces in 19th century France. But Cassatt is known to have occasionally posed for Degas when he struggled to find a model to execute a difficult pose to his liking. In other words, we can recognize this as a collaboration between two artists, rather than imagining Cassatt as the artist's muse. Our print shows the artist's interest in Japanese woodblock prints, of which Degas was an avid collector. This is evident in the use of the vertical format known as the pillar format, also the cropped framing and the layering of the figures with little or to no recession. Degas began to experiment with etching in the 1850s and continued until 1891-92. Very few were known or published in the artist's lifetime. Mary Cassatt au Louvre dates to a particular intense period of investigation and experimentation. The artist's work from the original composition, which remained constant, adding details to the figure and the setting. Here, if we compare the different prints, we can see that in one, the hat is a bit bigger. In the central one, there's more decoration on the wall, more of a marbleizing pattern is clear. So various details like this were added and subtracted through 20 states as the artist worked on the plate. But like many artists printmakers, Degas was not prepared to divulge his process and it has taken very careful study and comparison to determine how the plate was successively altered and by what means. As I mentioned, Cassatt was a fellow artist and a friend of Degas who encouraged the American born artist to exhibit along with the Impressionists as an independent. Cassatt first encountered etching through Degas who developed a studio environment where Cassatt and other artists flourished. From initial work in black and white, Cassatt went on to explore dry point and aquatint to produce color prints of great beauty making an important contribution to the history of printmaking. The inspiration for prints such as this one, titled The Letter, was a major exhibition of Japanese prints in Paris in 1890. I chose to begin this series with this etching because it is one of my favorite works in the Weir collection. But I'm also mindful of the role of friendship and collaboration here between Cassatt and Degas and of the importance of exposure to work from other countries, in this case, Japan, and how our movements are so subscribed at the moment. And finally, this print reminds me of the pleasure of visiting museums, not just the Louvre, but any museum, and how we look forward to a time when we can resume this activity. Thank you for joining me today, and please look for the next installment of We Are Wednesday, when we will move from 19th century Paris to the coast of Maine. Thank you.